So in lab, we're going to be doing a little volumetric analysis, a.k.a. a titration. We're going to be trying to find what the mass percentage of acetic acid is in vinegar using the sodium hydroxide solution that you created in lab the other day. Of course, your sodium hydroxide solution was a 1.00 molar solution. But here we see a sample question doing the same experiment, but with some different data. So here we're going to titrate um, a 5 milliliter sample of vinegar. And you'll notice it says gram in parentheses. And that's because the, the density of vinegar is pretty much just like water. So 1 milliliter of vinegar is approximately 1 gram. So we're just going to say whatever volume of vinegar we use, that's the mass of the vinegar. So here we're titrating with a 0 0.108 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. In order to re reach the end point of the titration, it took 39.1 milliliters of that sodium hydroxide. So in order to figure out the mass percentage, the first thing we need to do is know what the balanced equation is. And so here we see acetic acid is going to be neutralized with the sodium hydroxide, making our salt water, sodium acetate, and water. And the first thing we notice is that it is a one-to-one -one molar ratio acid to base. So that'll be important. Our plan of attack is essentially to take that 39.1 milliliters of sodium hydroxide used to titrate and get that to turn into grams of acetic acid, which we can then use to find the percent in our vinegar sample. So I will start with my volume of sodium hydroxide. And just for simplicity's sake, since molarity is moles per liter, I'm just going to change that to liters right away. And we're going to start with 0.0391 liters of sodium hydroxide. And then I can use the molarity that was up in the problem, 0 0.108. And I can say that there is 0 0.108 moles of sodium hydroxide in each liter of that solution. And now what I want to do is change from sodium hydroxide to acetic acid. And that, as I mentioned before, was a 1 to 1 ratio from our balanced equation up here. And now I can change from moles of acetic acid to grams of acetic acid because the molar mass is 60. I've got one hydrogen, two carbons, three more hydrogens, and two oxygens, which will add up to 60. And so when I do the math here, I see that it comes out to be about 0.253 grams of my acetic acid in that vinegar sample. Well, what was my starting sample size? 5 milliliters, 5 grams. And so I can figure out the mass percent dividing by 5. And here we see that we get 5.06% acetic, uh, acetic acid by mass in that vinegar. Hopefully we get some good results doing the titration in lab. We'll see you then with goggles, apron, and smiles on.